Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is My Modest Vanity, and I'm coming to you today with a quick haul. Um, it's going to be one brand. It's all Tarte. Tarte recently had a sale on their website for 30% off. Um, I think it was friends and family. I believe that was the reasoning behind the 30%. It doesn't matter. They have 30 off. And anyone knows me, I don't miss a sale, especially when it comes to makeup, because makeup is already expensive. So if I can get it lower than what it is, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that sale immediately. Probably spend all my money. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a deal and just lose my mind like I normally do. But I know it's going to get used, so I'm not going to worry about it. So if you're looking at me and you're like, what is this lipstick on her? It looks awful, looks terrible. Trust me, I agree with you. Um, I don't think it's picking up how terrible it looks on camera as it does in person. Um, this is one of the lip paints I picked up from Tarte. Um, so this is the Tartus. Let me see if the camera can pick it up. Um, it gets stuff and it gets everywhere. Like this is ridiculous the Tartus lip paint in adorbs so this this is what it looks like outside the packaging I'm trying to see if that glare will go away i guess not anyway so this is what it looks like um oh man i hope i didn't get it on my shirt oh, i hope not this is awful um to me this is messy and let me see if I can zoom in because this lipstick just looks awful. It it looks terrible. Like it well actually I put a second layer on so it doesn't look as bad, but the first layer I put on it's kind of sheer. Even for this neon bright pink, just out of this world pink, and I love pinks, but this is just this is not doing it for me. And I have other pink lipsticks that look like this, but no, this is just awful. Um, okay, so this is awful. Um, I, I might try the lip paint maybe in a different shade, but I'm thinking not because this formula I like the way it feels. It's very soft. It's very creamy when I put it on my lips. Um, but like I said, when I put it on, it was very sheer. Like I had to put a second layer on so that my lips weren't still showing through. And as you see, it like as me trying to like clean it up from like around my mouth so, so it's not all over was under my lips and over and everything like that. It got I cleaned some of it off, but somehow some more got on me. I don't know where that came from. I had all of my teeth, like it was just smearing all over my face as I'm trying to clear it up, clean it off, clean it up around my mouth. Um, so I may not buy lip paint again. I don't care for this formula. Like it's just really, really soft. It's really just, it smears all over. And then I guess I just got so used to wearing mats because I'm just, I'm in love with mats right now because they stay put. This is not a mat, so this is not going to stay put. So this pink will get all over it everything as you see i cleaned this hand this hand's fine but somehow i got it all over this hand oh the tv's acting crazy okay um actually let me zoom in yeah so um yeah i won't buy that again um hopefully this doesn't get on the rest of my stuff i'm trying to clean this crap off really quick um so on to the next thing I bought. Oh, this was, shoot, how much is this lip stuff? I think it's like 20, maybe 20, I think it's 20 something. It's 20 something, then the 30% off, whatever that is. I think I paid like, I probably paid like 17, $18 for this. And I'm the type that once I buy something online, I'm probably not gonna send it back in because it's just too much of a hassle. So I'm gonna end up keeping this. I don't know, I'll probably give it to someone because it was just awful. So, I bought this. I bought a palette. I bought the Tarte High Performance Natural. This is, I don't know what this palette is called. Oh, okay, it's called Works of Tarte. It's from their holiday collection in 2016. Um, and, let me sh and it came with a double-ended brush. 
goats it's tart right there and let me show you the actual palette so this is the palette it comes with a big mirror and I, th I don't know how many shadows this is how many is this eight so 12 so it comes with 12 shadows so and it's a mixture of mattes and shimmers um i would say it's probably half and half like let me see if i can show you so shimmer 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 and shimmer that's a matte that's a matte that is not a shimmer per se just has glitter in it and then matte matte um uh, matte 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 sh um shimmer 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 matte shimmer shimmer so and then I really got it because I wanted this um, navy blue color. Um, I haven't tried the palette yet um, to see how the formula is. Um, let me just swatch a few. So let's see. I'll swatch the navy blue one since that's what I originally bought it for anyway. Okay, so that's the navy blue one. And we'll do my arm. So if you can see that. Can you? I don't know. I'm trying to see how I can do it on camera. I'm gonna have to redo this whole fucking video. I feel like it. Um, no. So we're gonna swatch you on a different way. Let's do you here. Yeah. <laughs> that's smarter, right? No, <laughs> so much smarter doing it this way, right? So that's the navy blue one. Um, I'll do this. Um, I don't want to call it turquoise. I'm not sure what color this is. This greenish color here. I mean, so far the formula seemed nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like swatching anymore, really. Uh, well, no, I'll do this. Sh I'll do this. Mm, where to go? This champagne one here, and then I'll do I'll do the purple shimmer one there. So I'll do those two. Okay, do the champagne. And I've never had any problem with charts. Um eyeshadows as far as the formula of them like it's never been chalky or too soft I mean to me they've been perfect so those are the eyeshadows I think they're gonna be good formula seems nice seems like they're gonna be good and then I bought what is this this is the Tarte the brow architect the brow shaper liner definer and I bought it in deep and this is what it looks like. Oops, I eyeshadow all over me. And I bought it because it's supposed to be kind of an all-in-one thing. So it has the spoolie brush at the end. Then you have the actual pencil here. And then you take the pencil part off. I'm trying to remember, I think it's here. No, where do you pull this off at? Okay, you twist it off, actually. And then it comes with this, so you can use it to um, clean up your brows, kind of for your highlight or whatever, for your brow highlight. Um, I thought that was really neat, and I've never seen anything like it before. You kind of have it all in one, so you don't use all your concealer or whatever you might use to clean up your brows. The only thing is, because I got it in deep, so I needed a dark color for my brows, so since I got it in deep, this shade like it looks like it's very light but it's darker than what i would use on my brows it's it's darker than my complexion because it's for a deep shade like a deeper complexion let me say that so it that part i won't use which is unfortunate because it's kind of why i bought it for the whole thing but the pencil still is good i did like the pencil that's what i use to use my do my brows today um i just didn't use the highlight part or whatever you want to call that part and next I bought I bought the Tarte the eyelash they call it the little lash helper the lash applicator so I bought this 
because it's cute and it's gold and gold is like my favorite gold and rose gold anything I love and this is what it looks like out of the box and let me show you Ugh, there we go so it's just like little tweezers but for your lashes and it has that little piece right there this little curved piece they can actually pick up the lashes and that's really cute and it looks really fancy so I was like ooh, I'm gonna buy it because you know I do makeup on other people too so that like, oh that looks so fancy me using these to put their lashes on like ooh, hot shit so next I bought the clean slate poreless 12 hour perfecting primer and this is it here um Let's see try not to make a mess since I still have eyeshadow on my fingers um let's see so this is what it looks like I think you can see it so okay there we go so it's clear uh, let me find a finger I can use that will make a mess it's very I don't know if this camera's picking up but it's very thick And it really does get rid of all your pores. Let me see. See the difference in my hands? So this one's a lot smoother. I really like it. It's, I don't know if this is silicone base or what. Um, I don't know. But it's formulated without parabens and mineral oil. And no gluten. No... I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to pronounce those other ones because I'm getting wrong. And I'm not going to have anyone talk crap about me in the comments. So, it's made without certain things, but you can go to the Tarte website to find out everything else it's not made with. Um, but I do like it. I've been using... Ah, I knew it was going to get eyeshadow on me. God dog it. So, minus that streak there. <laughs> um, I do like the formula of it. It's thick. It does um, help with making my pores look smaller. So that is a really good formula. Um, I feel like it might be making me break out though. Um, because since I've been using it for the past week or two, I've had a pimple. I think I had a pimple here. Then I got a pimple here. Then I got a pimple, like two pimples here and then two pimples here. Um, I don't know if it's because of that. That's the only thing I think of it might be because the only thing I've changed as far as in my makeup regimen, I guess you could say. So that might possibly be making me break out, but I'm not going to blame it just yet, but there's a slight chance. Um, what else did I get? I got the Quickie Blending Sponge, the Double Duty Blender Sponge. Let's see. Um, I mean, you guys have used like Beauty Blenders and the Real Technique Sponges, nothing extravagant about it and I normally don't even use like sponges or beauty blenders or anything like that but I was like I'll try it so that's what it looks like um because when I used to work at Ulta there was a woman that came in there and she just made it seem like this is just the best um the best sponge face sponge that's ever been created she's like she likes it better than beauty blenders and the real techniques she's like it was just the best thing ever so I was like, you know what, for 30% off, you know, I can try it. And if I like it, then hey, if I don't, oh, well, whatever. I'll use it on like clients or something like that. And the very last thing I got was the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've been wanting this for a very long time. When I was working at Ulta, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that palette so bad. And the other palette that they have, I can't remember the, there's two of them that kind of made similar, but the other one has like purples in it. I don't remember what that one was called, but I want those two so bad. But I feel like their colors were kind of similar, so I was like, I don't know if I should get both or the other. But when I was in the process of getting buy all the stuff on Tarte, you know, you know how we do. We go on YouTube or something and look at reviews and see what other people say about the products. And uh, one review I watched, I don't remember her name. Um, she said she had bought the other Tarte palette and that's similar to this one like the same size same 12 I mean same 12 pods but different colors she said it was bad she said like it was the formula was bad it was like chalky or something like that so I was like okay I'll go with this one so these colors so this is the palette 
and so it looks like inside I really need to clean my fingers off because I'm gonna get eyeshadow on everything so it comes with a mirror and those are the 12 colors and uh, I guess let me let me pause this so I can clean off my fingers okay so I've somewhat cleaned off my arm and my fingers so I'll do a few swatches I'll do hmm, I'll do the two and this palette only has two shimmers and mm, I guess no eh, no I wouldn't call it a shimmer so I'll say two shimmers and then the other ten are more matte so you can kind of see so this is the shimmer and then that's a shimmer I don't necessarily want to call that a shimmer but it's not necessarily matte either so it's kind of in between but everything else is matte so I'll do the two for sure shimmers which is firecracker and funny girl so firecracker funny girl oh those are pretty and then I'll do activists and leader which are the two shades right here okay like I said in a I think it was a previous video I don't know was it this video I don't know I'm losing my mind don't mind me oh yeah it was this video duh because I'm doing target review so like I said earlier with the other eyeshadow palette the natural whatever it was called I don't know um no works of tart I don't know where I got that from works of tart um I've never had a problem with the formulas of tarts eyeshadows I like them they've never been chalky or like a lot of fallout on them they're pretty creamy pretty pigmented so I've always liked tarts products is why I always keep buying their eyeshadows so I have a million of them um I think that was it. Oh, well, with the Tarte, Tarte and Bloom, it came with got makeup everywhere. It came with a little guide to show you how to put on eyeshadow if you need help. Um, I think that's everything I got from Tarte. Is it? Yes. So that's everything I got from Tarte. Um, the only thing I did not like was this awful lip paint in Adorbs. It's awful. Like, I'm looking at the viewfinder, and I feel like this camera's not picking up the awfulness of this lipstick. Um, because in person, when I look in the mirror, it's terrible. Like I told you, the first layer, it was sheer. Had another layer on, and then it's not matte, so it's smearing everywhere. Like, it was when I first came on, I had all on my fingers. It was on my face. I thought I was going to take my makeup off and start all over again because it smeared all over the place. Oh, and I just hit it, and there it goes on my finger. Mm -hmm. No. It's an awful formula. Um, like, I get it's not matte, but I have lipsticks that don't smear like this. Um, so, I won't be purchasing any lip paints from Tarte ever again, because I don't like the formula. Um, and then the only thing I didn't like was, like I told you about the pencil. This is too dark. It looks like it's gonna be light based on this color that's on here, but it's actually more like a caramel, like a honey caramel color once I actually like put it under my eyebrows. So I don't use that part anymore, but I did use a pencil to do my eyebrows, so I did like the pencil and I think that was on sale for $9 and then 30% off of that. So, oh, I didn't tell you the prices of everything. Um, duh. Um, I think this is 42 maybe I might be lying but I feel like this is 42 in my heart's of heart I feel like this is 42 um this was I think this is 16 and I'm, I'm telling you the full price of everything because I'm not I don't feel like doing 30% off of everything but 30% off of everything I'm telling you that was my final price but this was what did I just say 16 this was I feel like this was like 40 41 because I think I my final price was like 29 76 or something like that so I think this was 41 and the primer 
how much was the primer? Primer, how much were you? The primer, just in case you forgot. Primer, I think it was like 23, maybe? I don't know, guys. I completely forgot to print out my online thing before doing this. I think this is $12. It's either $12 or $14 for the lash tweezer thing. And I think that was everything. Mm, yes. So, mm, it's a little disorganized, but I feel like I got my point across on everything I was trying to show you guys with the Tarte, pick, uh, the Tarte products. Um, don't buy. Don't buy lip paint. No, no. Especially not in the dwarfs. This is awful. Don't let this camera fool you because I feel like it's coming off like it looks okay when I'm looking at the viewfinder, but this is not okay. This is awful. Um, but that's everything. And you guys, I'm going to try to be more consistent with my videos because if you are a subscriber from the beginning, then you know me. I like to do like five videos and then not do anything for like two months and then come back and do the five videos and then not do anything for two months and then come back and do the five videos. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to kind of do. I'm going to do like throw five videos out there for you guys, content videos. But after those, I'm going to try to make it more of a weekly basis. Um, because I have so many, I buy so much stuff and I have so many products that I can review for you guys and I just, I get lazy. Like I bought the Kat Von D, those mini lip thingies that they had like during the holidays and I was going to do a review on those and I never did that, which I should review on those because those are awful. But anyway, I'm talking about Tarte, so let's stick with Tarte. That's what I bought from Tarte with the 30% off sale they had, the friends and family sale they had like about a week or two ago. Um... Comment down below, subscribe, let me know what your favorite Tarte product is and if you have any Tarte products and how you like them. And let me know if you guys have lip paints and if you guys are experiencing the same things that I'm experiencing with the lip paint because that formula is just not where it is. Like It just smears and smudges so easily. I don't like that. Um, so let me know down below, guys. See you later. Bye. Okay, so I just want to come back. So as I'm, I was taking off my lipstick and so this is the first swipe of me taking it off and I'm using, right now because it's hosting to me, I'm using the, oop, there we go, the Garnier Fructis, the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the micellar cleansing water, whatever it's called. So this is the first swipe. This is when I did it a second time. So I feel like this is probably staining my lips. So for this not to be a matte, like this stuff is awful. I, for this not to be a matte, I shouldn't have to rub this hard to try and get this lipstick off. Look at that. All this rubbing I'm doing and it's taking this much to try and get this lipstick off I will not I repeat will not be repurchasing that lip uh, lip paint from Tarte look at that finally kind of sort of so I just want to come back and um, let you guys know mm -mm, that lip paint is not it. I mean, I don't even have to take this much effort to take off a matte lipstick. So for that not to be matte and let's see your smears and smudges all over the place. And then when I'm ready to take it off, it doesn't even come off. No. Okay. So I just want to show you that mm -mm, I will not be buying lip paints at all. No, no.